How's it going, y'all? It's Jeff, and yeah, it seems like we got the twins, like, really about to get back to the main storyline here. And even though the stuff with Ruby and B. Kamachi is very, like, I love the music in the series like nothing else, I think that the stuff with Aqua is very, very fascinating because, like, the door, like, the doors of exposition and plot have pretty much, like, swung right open for him, which is really interesting to think about. I would be so surprised if his, like, revenge story ends, like, just gets yanked away from him, and it's just like, that's it, you know? So I feel like either there's something big in store for him, him, whether that's like a secret reveal that his father is actually still alive or his anger gets displaced somewhere else and causes some issues in his relationship with Akane because you know it's confirmed this love triangle is going on so there's clearly a lot of emotions going on there so yeah it's very very fascinating where we're at at this point in this series that's all I got <coughs> yeah let's get into it Bro, are we in for that for a uh, road trip, or are they gonna be boring and take a plane? I absolutely. I think okay. If they're bringing a suitcase, well, I don't know. Cause I absolutely would love to road trip with Kana. I feel like it would be tea for the whole three days straight. Hmm. Okay. Have Aqua pl plan the itinerary. I guess. It's a t secret talent. Sex. I don't know whatever face I just made. There probably was anything but that. But. Oh my gosh, Kana! <laughs> have you no shame? Like, does she actively have no shame? Just trying to actively finesse a taken man. Look at these backgrounds, though. This is cute. In the little dip. Ah, oh, she's she's kind of like serving. All that serving took a lot out of her. I feel like she's always, not always, Kana is like an... <laughs> she's on 10, like 80% of the time. I'm waiting. Man, that was a suspenseful build-up for a... For meeting at the frickin' coffee bean. <laughs> no, she is shameless. I like how Aqua's feelings for Kana are, like, very subtle. Or even, not even subtle, but, like... Like, just, like, when his, like, thoughts are, like, running, she'll, she'll like, appear... Cause he can't. I feel like he would. He would never just outwardly in this scenario admit he has. Well, maybe he would. Cause he definitely would say he has feelings for her. I feel like that's obvious. Except for her being a bald-faced liar too. See, does Aqua do? Does Aqua do gender norms? <laughs> they actually brought it up. I like how this show. They're not scared to shy away from those things. Aw. See, I feel like... I, <laughs> I get just her face. I get just her face. But I feel, I feel like Aqua probably really doesn't care about that stuff, but probably only did it just because he knows it would be meaningful to her. <laughs> I would say get yourselves an Aqua, but I feel like he is kind of playing the field. Is that something people care about? Their, I guess, women in particular? Their man's hanging out in the storage room one on one with a chick who's trying to. <whistles> Bro. Aqua is rizzing right now! <laughs> kind of just finding any reason to like I got go finding any re or kind of finding any reason just look into like read between the lines go through every everything he does with like a fine tooth cone I bet she does oh and he planned ahead he put forethought into it Paying the bills, carrying the bags, like, 
I feel like is he after something or is he just oblivious? Maybe he just doesn't have the social skills. He doesn't know how this is reading to her. <laughs> they didn't know how hungry I am. <laughs> Former thirty. <laughs> how can Ka or how can yeah? How can Kana go about this rant without being obvious? This is broken. A lot of girls just like this. Are we just like glossing over the fact that he's? Hmm. <laughs> well, three hundred subs from now, I'll know. There we go. There we go. I feel like that's like the elephant in the room. Like, clear answer for what? Look at him. Oh, you... Seems like he's leaning towards commitment. Actually. Hmm. Said that with a mouthful of meat. Uh, kind of spitting. <laughs> Conversations that just raise way more questions than they answer. Aqua's such an interesting character, because he... Obviously his, like, social development is stunted, so it's very hard to tell... What he does intentionally or out of naivety. <laughs> See, now I feel like Hana's imagination is getting the best of her. Enjoy yourself, girl! <laughs> she just wound up at home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, the fact that her mind went like that means she had a heck of a good time. What's that expression that, like, if he likes you, you'll know. If he doesn't, you'll be confused. Seems like Khan is definitely confused. Hmm. <laughs> Aqua being exposed for being a boomer. Bothering me. That's a way to put it. Gross! I mean, Akane has got to like his bluntness. There is something appealing about people who don't beat around the bush, I will say. It's very European. Consider the future of. Oh, that sucks. Very much makes her sound like a tool. Oh, he was, he was treating her like So, does Aqua just plan to be alone? Mm. There's gotta be a part of him that's also just scared to be alone, too. Hawaii bound. She's like, oh, they have money, maybe I need to... <laughs> well, this just took a 160. Oh. Went from, like, letting her off the hook to inviting her to meet the family. Well, not meet, but... Talk things over with you. Yeah, I mean, that would have been anyone's first thought. That was crazy. Oh, is it true? Is this really happening? I feel like there's no taking it back now. And why would he invite her on a trip to do that? That's really crazy. Someone invited me on vacation and broke up with me on vacation? Like... <laughs> Did they already have the conversation? Or is it coming up? I feel like it's not happened yet. Oh, I'm, I don't know. I'm leaning. Guess I guess they're gonna do it. I feel like this is the end. 
And it's not real, unless she tells him otherwise. And it's so easy to just relate to any of these characters, too. Like Akane, who just let herself get led on and caught up. And now she has to just, like, pretend like... Like, she's not going to be like, no, Aqua, please. Ugh, I don't know why it's giving eye energy. It's just so protective and... But it's like, why did she go along with it? Did she think, like, I can change him? Or maybe she just enjoyed the attention. Where he protected her from... Yeah. Uh... Okay, so she she's letting it out. This is how she really feels. Are they gonna kiss for real? Oh my god, Ruby is going to tweak. Careful, your mind is after. That's a very sociopathic thing to say. That's crazy. Bro. She's like... Uh, and the fact that Akane was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Nail. And now she's like... Actually, I'll do anything, Aqua. <laughs> Now she's trying to riz him. That's insane. <laughs> Man, this anime, I will say, has the most complex relationship, like straight up relationship dynamics I've watched ever. Like, these feelings are so complicated, it's it's making my head spin. Maybe Akane honestly just wants to feel needed. That's what I think it is. Yeah, I feel like that's all of what it is. That she liked the attention, she liked someone relying on her. I feel like they still... He fronted the money for all that thing. And talk about an obsession. I feel like they still have not officially broken up yet, though. I wonder how long he's going to keep this from Ruby, too. Like, is she going to find out this season? I feel like Ruby deserves to know. In the back of my mind, part of me is like, oh, but he's still alive, but this does seem pretty conclusive. Study. Kind of in a sense, too, Akane was like a part of his old life, like, he's kind of a different person now. Whoa. Something is definitely changed in Akane right now. What is this? The, like, the realization that the loss has hit? Or... What? Or did she just get the confirmation that she needed? Something has clicked. There's some relation I feel she has to this father, maybe. That she is...
Oh my god. What? 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 Ah! I just don't understand. I don't understand. I don't know their ages, but maybe the half sibling, if he's younger than Aqua, could that be it? Like, I'm leaning towards the father is still alive somehow, because how can I saying he would go back to living for revenge? I want to know their ages. No, I feel like it, regardless of if they want intend to or not, group like I is just living through Ruby and Aqua. Through the trauma, the legacy, all of it. No forgetting. That was sweet, though. She's such a respectful young lady. Okay, this music is very ominous. Who is this? Oh. Definitely has an interest in Ruby. Gets a man. Is this. Ah! I knew it! Absolutely. Absolutely called it. Alright, so the father's still alive. That's crazy. Knew that that could not be the end of Aqua's plot. I just knew that could not be the case. And so now, that makes me wonder, I'm, uh, the half-sibling, like the brother, right? Is he working with the dad to deceive Aqua? That would be a crazy plot point. That would be some betrayal right there. But why would the, like, why would the father still be going and visiting the grave? Does he still want to be in the kid's life? Because it seems like in the beginning his only purpose was to like get rid of I from revenge, but now he's still interacting with them and he's taking an interest in Ruby. Is he going to try and get rid of the kids too? Is he going to try and use Ruby and Aqua for something? He's clear he's still alive, and so either the half sibling I'm drawing I'm drawing a blank on his name is oblivious to this, or he's working with the dad for some reason. That's that's insane. But yeah, so now I feel like Aqua definitely obviously is going to have to find this out. Aka and knows for some reason, so she might be the one to drop the ball on him. I feel like that's what I'm leaning towards. So yeah, it feels like Aqua, this piece, is about to be yanked from him, and that's going to be insane to watch. So yeah, whether we find that out next this season or next season is... I'm leaning towards the finale is when we're going to like, is when Aqua's going to get this revelation. So dang, they're cooking. They are cooking.